Hey guys, what is up? Today we're playing some Splat Zones on Anchor V Games, the new map, and I'm using the 52 gal with the point sensor and the bottler. And just beforehand, I will say that this is actually post commentary because I recorded a 50 minute stream on Twitch and realised at the end that I wasn't actually talking the entire time. Oops. That will be streaming in tomorrow. So anyway, I'm part pushing the middle straight away. I want to be the first person there and I do do that. See, there's two on the team there and the sniper up top. So, try and fight them on here, get my baller straight away, get a nice point sensor, explode on them, grab one from behind, try and grab this guy from the left, and we have a little duel, and I do most to get him. See the sniper's here, but I keep standing that tiny bit of ink and it gets, gets me caught up. So, I'm like, right, I'm going to flank to the left, hop up, see him over there, miss him, a little bunch, he starts just tapping me up, so then I droop down to him, and then I have enough and I try and baller him. And oh, it's a disaster. Now he's over there. What a nightmare. There's three of us versus him though. But now we do have control. I should have got control before. I'm an absolute idiot. But now it just starts counting down for our team. Never want to chase kills if we can get in the point. But that's what we had here. So that person dies. There's two more over there. One, two. Not too bad. And these are the little fans on each side of the map which do lift up those portions of the map, which is pretty cool. But we do have our ult. We're still on the map. Everything's looking good. So I decided to uh, throw point points down, don't see no on that side, I always see that guy there. So I decided to wait around here, in the middle, just where no one can get to you, because you never expect it, and boom, we do trap one by doing that, and then there's two, I don't think I helped on that one, but I would have been able to clean him up, and there's a third from that side. Things are going well, it's just counting down now. I just want to show the power of hiding here on this map. This is countered by using the fan, because if they do use the fan, or you do, you do get it lifted up. But people never think to look when they drop, and this is just a great example of that. Another one dead, I don't, again, and I, my teammate didn't need me. And this is only c rank gameplay on this one, but after I do have some A-game tower defense control for the second game, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that guy gets pushed by my teammate, I use a baller, we pop each other's balls, <laughs> and then I do kill him there. And another guy there, and that is game. So I didn't get a single death on that game, which is always nice. And let's see the score. Well, we know the score, we know we won, but let's see the actual scores at the end. So there we are. Decent team, to be honest. Everyone was good. And I did again just get 13 kills, which was the most in the game by far. So that's why I want to showcase that, just how much one person can do. And it did rank us up to B-, minus, which is nice. And now we're just going to jump to the second game, which is the new map, sorry, the brand new map, Piranha Pit. Tower control. No, this isn't a brand new map. The other one was. This is a map I've never played before. And this was footage of my first ever game on this map. So I go to the left. I have no idea where I'm going. I see the points here. So now I'm like, right, I'll take this. Wind up in no man's zone here. I'm like, right, I'll head over to the point. And that guy just absolutely nice lays me. I think he like two shots from the slash shot pro. So off to a terrible start. And looks at that. The team managed to take the tower. So that's never bloody good. It's always, you always want to overlap your team as much as you can, but I do get one there, two there, and a beautiful third. We do trade, but I am happy with that trade, just because three for one's really good, because I know my team's going to control the tower, and because I know that three of them at least died, and they should be four dead by now, although they're not, we should be able to save super jump, and we do. Get back over there, chaos, I pull back so I can get damage, managed to grab Cloud M, and... I thought I hit the bomb there, I really did, but no, the range blaster does get me. So we're back at spawn again. I mean, I had a bit of a struggle with this map, to be honest, just learning it because the first map. I had another game later in all, and they had two range guys, and I could not work hard to get them, and I never did it again, so I need to uh, practice on this map, and I will have to practice before I play in rank again, which I'm not very good on this map, but I. <laughs> I get annihilated by everything but managed to survive there, no idea what's happening. See the guys dropping there, just start chucking his loads around, duel is dead, we've got the tower. So we need to get this moving, see we've got 72, we've just ticked over now, so we're just in their space. I mean, should I say, we've just pushed the past halfway, the default point. Kill Lamashio, another guy over there, the team that gets in, pick up that guy over there. We are waiting for this to tick down now, so I see the big balls <laughs> uh, drop down. Mix the bomb as well. Go for the splatter jump, and I get caught by the suction bomb, which is always unfortunate in mid air. So we are winning now because we're remaining 66, so that's always good. 
But he's a um, big fight there, but I managed to pick up two of that cheap little bomb. And the third is dead there, but because it's in no one's zone, you have to go up these ramps to bring them back down. And I do do that with my teammate Cam Flat. They're just lobbing some suction bombs, no problem with that. Grab these, I have to jump off it so I don't get bombed. Pick up a nice double kill, splash shot is an absolute beast for uh, one of the starting weapons. Sees another guy come in, use his ult, try and get him. I was a bit slow there, a bit of one game, but we do get him. And then there's a couple guys up here that I try and take. Grab that one, go for the splash shot, grab that one, and get, get the triple. Absolutely beautiful there. And that helps us push this really far. Just get that, keep pushing, and then roll up. Try and get back top of it here. We do grab it. Fire with a duel is. It does a lot of rolling, but we do get it. Jump off, and then I do die here, unfortunately. But I think it was quite an important part of getting it down to, like, let's say, 40. And then my teammate keeps pushing, and now, because it's so far away, I'm like, there's 26, 25. I need to get in there. So I get in there, right next to Pierre, who is having none of that, and absolutely takes me out of the slash shot pro. And I'm like, I need to get in there again just for the game ends. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And as soon as I land, it ends. But I do think it does showcase that no matter how bad you do at the start, you can get like an excited bad start, an amazing middle, and then a quite a poor end. But my teammate did pick it up in my absence, and we did win because of that. And let's have a look how I did. And we have a minus, but I did get 19 kills, most of the game again. And those are the highlights from the stream, unfortunately post calm. Well, there'll probably be some more soon. So thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Cheers. Bye.